ordinary small businesses walking away from creating wealth because they can't export to Europe, they can't find the labor they need. And we've looked at all these strikes. I mean, Britain's a sick man of Europe. And why are we having strikes in the health service? In part, because we've sent 300, 400,000 healthcare workers home, care home workers, doctors, nurses. So all of us are queuing up and thinking of my poor knee much, much longer, uh, thanks to uh, Brexit. But we voted for it. By the way, your opinion poll was fascinating, but there was, a, um, if I may say so, a more scientific one yesterday. 10,000 people surveyed for unheard. No, OK, opinion polls are opinion polls are opinion polls. How dare you, Dennis? It's a bit more... Oh, well, it's a bit more uh, than, than just you know, yeah. a, a, a tweet request. OK, and what do they show? In all but three constituencies, there's now a majority saying the decision was wrong. And even in Manchester, uh, June, your, your home base, Manchester Gorton, that's a, a Red Bull seat, working class seat. It's Graham Stringer, an old friend. He's anti-European, but he's a good friend. Even there, it's now over 50% saying it was wrong. Wrong. Now, that's not going to change anything because Steer Kistar was where he is, Richard Sunak's yeah. where he is, and Lib Dems are where they are. But nonetheless, this is not a happy country at the moment. OK, June, let me come to you then. It is not a happy country. Dennis is right about that. But is it fair to lay that at the door of Brexit? Well, Dennis is blaming the horse when it's the jockey that's at fault. Um, we've just been out of the European Union in 20. 20 and seven weeks later we were locked down i'm not sure that i would have the audacity to blame brexit for the state of the current economy germany is not doing very well portugal is skin greece is skin italy is skin spain's a basket case france would be a third world economy if it wasn't making its colonial debt get paid back because of extreme measures i'm glad to see that dennis is uh, laughing his head off um unfortunately um Going back to 2017, when Dennis actually said um, it was reported in a Conservative article that he called voting people who voted for Brexit were bonkers and nutcases. I don't see James oh, Dyson as bonkers. And I don't a see lie. myself as a businesswoman as bonkers. I had a house in Austria, a pet passport, a helix card. I voted for my country to make its own rules and trade negotiations. And um, we sit on their beaches in the European Union. We use their ski slopes. We sit on their beaches. We drink their wine. We eat their cheese. We buy their cars. We wear their clothes. We're the best customer and they're treating us like dirt. They're punishing us for having the audacity to leave in case anyone else wants to join us. We could have left quite easily. Easily. And, you know, we were lied to. Your side lied. Your side lied. The media lied. Oh. Owned by the same six what? companies. Telling us what? that Boeing would close down. Telling us that uh, Nissan would close down. Nissan were taking on apprentices at the time. But it was left to bloggers like me to get the truth out because all the mainstream media um, wanted to believe, wanted you to believe, because of corporate advantages, that Brexit was a mistake. And Brexit is not a mistake, and Brexit has not had any time at all to flourish and us to reap the benefits mm. because of lockdown, elongated lockdowns, and because of ridiculous decisions by idiots like Matt Hancock and mm. Boris Johnson. We're, they're the reason this country's in a mess. Duff PPE, billions spent on track and trace. Duff, duff, duff. Yeah. We are in the hand. We've got plenty of resources.